Hey everybody, and welcome back to Everything Tech, and today we're going to be creating an installer disk with Windows 8. Before we get started, you want to make sure that you have a blank DVD and make sure that it's a DVD and not a uh, CD because CDs have lower storage space than DVDs. And just to make sure, double check that the storage on your DVD is at least 4 gigs in size. It can be larger than 4 gigs, although 4 gigs is the minimum that uh, Microsoft recommends. And uh, make sure you have a product key to go along with the copy of Windows 8 that you're going to be making the installer out of. And uh, make sure that you know which version that product key goes for. So if it's an 8.1 Pro product key, make sure you know that. And if you don't know, try to check to see if it came with a box, and the box should tell you what version of Microsoft Windows 8 uh, you can use. And the reason why is so when you install Microsoft Windows 8, uh, you can, um, or when you make the installer, you make it with the correct uh, version of Windows 8 that you want, or the Windows 8 version that you have. And when you go to put in that product key to activate the operating system, everything goes smoothly. So once you have that product key and the DVD, we're going to just go ahead and jump right into Google, and we're going to Google Windows 8.1 ISO, and we're going to go ahead and click the first link here, which is Microsoft's official website, which hosts a, a lightweight application that allows you to uh, install or download the ISO file through that application and um, make a bootable USB drive or a DVD, and yes, you can use a USB drive in this case if you want. I'm going to be doing a DVD because it's more convenient for me, but you got to make sure that your USB drive is larger than 4 gigs if you're going to be doing that. So if you do click on this link here, it's just going to take you to this website here, and it gives you a little before you begin tips and stuff like that. So like it's a, like I said, a blank USB or DVD and a DVD burner if your computer doesn't come with a built-in DVD burner with at least 4 gigs of space if you want to create media. And we recommend you use a blank USB or DVD because any content on it will be deleted. So yeah, make sure you back up your USB drive if you're going to be using that. And if you're using a DVD, well, you're putting in a blank DVD so you don't have to worry about anything uh, being erased on there. And yeah, make sure you have your product key ready because you may need it if you're going to be using that uh, install disk uh, later on. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and download the tool and uh, we're going to go ahead and open the media creation tool. It's a very lightweight application. It won't take too long to download. Here is what the application looks like. And yes, it is much easier to create a bootable uh, DVD or USB with Windows 8 and uh, Windows 10 for that matter than it was for Windows 7 because all you need is this application here and that's it. And this application will do everything for you. And uh, compared to Windows 7 where you had to download a special tool to make the USB drive and then you had to download the ISO file and then you had to know your product key because then you couldn't download the ISO file. It's much easier now. And uh, here we're going to pick our language. I'm going to select English and you can select any language you want or the language which that came with your version of Windows. For our editions, this is where I'm I, I told you to make sure you know which version of Windows uh, you're, you're going to want to install. I myself have Windows 8.1 Pro, but if you have 8.1 and you select 8.1 Pro, the product key will not work and you're just going to have to come back and do this all over again for the version of Windows that uh, you actually do have. So you, you want to make sure you double check on that. So 8.1 Pro is what we have and your product key will work for both 32 and 64 bit, but which version should you get? Well, if your computer has less than 3 gigs of RAM or random access memory, go for 32-bit because 32-bit is designed for laptops and computers with less than 3 gigs of RAM and it's not as uh, heavy on the computer. But if it has 4 gigs or more, it is recommended that you use 64-bit because it's more optimized for higher capacity RAM computers like mine has 16 gigs. So we're going to go ahead and click next and this is where you can choose if you want a USB flash drive or if you want an ISO file. Now you may wonder, well if you're going to download the ISO file, how are you going to create the DVD? Well, well, as soon as it is done downloading the ISO file, it's going to give you the option to launch a Windows DVD burner, and it it'll allow you to burn the ISO file to the DVD if you have it. And if you haven't done so already, put the DVD in your computer. That way it's out of the way and it's there, ready for when you need it. And we're going to go ahead and click on ISO file, and we're going to click next. But if you're going to do um, USB flash drive, it'll show you a list of all the flash drives or the all the USB ports that your computer has. And if you have any USB devices plugged in, they would show up here and you just select those. It will tell you that it's going to format everything. Are you sure? Yes. Continue. And it'll create the bootable uh, USB drive for you and you should be done. But since we're doing a DVD, we have to download the ISO file. Now, if you just want the ISO file and no DVD or anything, you just uh, download the ISO file and you won't have to worry about the DVD or anything. So we're just going to go do the ISO file. 
It's going to ask us where we want to save it. Of course, I like saving it to the desktop. I'm just going to leave it as Windows. I'm not doing anything other than just downloading this ISO file so it won't get lost. Although you can always rename it after it's done downloading if you want to keep that. So Windows, save it, and it's going to start downloading the ISO file directly from Microsoft. So you just let this do its thing, and it'll tell you exactly how long it'll take to download depending on your internet speed. So you may want to sit back, drink a cup of water, eat a sandwich or something. In my case, it's going to take two minutes to download, so we'll be right back. So once it's done downloading the ISO file and packaging it up for you, it asks you if you want to, or if you're ready to uh, burn it to a DVD, and it gives you that little link right here. And once you click that, it should open the Windows Disk Image Burner, and it says here the disk image file is the Windows ISO, and the disk burner is DVD ROM uh, drive. If you have more than one, make sure you select the one that has a DVD in it. And next, we're going to start uh, burning it. But before we do, I always like to check this box here that uh, says verify disk after burning, and this makes sure that the disk that you burn is a working copy of a whatever it is you're doing so just make sure that it works and then next we're gonna click burn and we're gonna wait for this to burn now keep in mind that uh, whatever you put in front of your your DVD tray make sure you get it out of the way I've had times where I close the door to where my little computer is where I have my desktop and uh, the DVD drive ejects the disk and it can't really eject it because it can't it doesn't have enough force to push the door open so just keep in mind what you have in front of your DVD box or your your DVD tray because it may eject the disk once it's done so let's go ahead and let this do its thing and uh, we'll continue after it's done. So we're finally complete with uh, the process of creating the DVD now, and it just ejected the DVD. So we're going to go ahead and close everything here, click finish, and what I'm going to do is put the DVD back into the computer just to make sure that it reads it as uh, a disk that is used to install Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this PC and wait for the DVD drive to uh, read the disk. And there we go, it just finished reading the, the disk here, and we see DVD ROM, or RW, I forgot what I, the RW stands for, and uh, ESD-ISO and that means that it did make a bootable disk and there we go the installer is complete or the disk and the bootable disk is complete so our job here is done and uh, I'll leave a link down in the description to Microsoft's official page where you can download the uh, the tool and uh, also I'll leave a link down in the description to Windows 7 if you want to do this for Windows 7 which is a little more complicated or if you want to do Windows 10 I'll leave a link down in the description for that too with that being said thank you all for watching and see you all in the next video